notice the stars in the sky. I need you to shine. What's going on Maxers and welcome again to another brand new video in the channel and today we're going to create a KPN tunnel official config on this application there we go you can see right there that this is you know connected in just a few uh, seconds only well if you're new here consider yourself subscribing because I'm doing lots of tutorials every Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays and without being said let's start this you know guys uh, just a quick disclaimer right here I'm using a globe switch and I have an MB of data in my sim card okay that's why it is connected basically and it's not a totally zero MB of data and I am connected and by the way guys you can also download the KPN tunnel official in Play Store this is a legit application um, other application to this one you can use also HTTP injector which you can you know check in my playlist also and uh, Let's go ahead and start, you know, giving you tutorials on how to connect or create your own config to this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stop the KPN tunnel and we're going to, you know, clear the settings on this application so that we're going to start, we can start, you know, the configs step by step. And basically I need you to, you know, create the SSH tunnel in fastssh.com or skyssh.com. If you know that already, you know, just let me know in the comment section if you don't know how to create an account in that um, websites. It's really easy. You're just going to, you know, click, 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 click. And now we're going to create our own payload that is m.google.com. This is basically generate payload. And that is a semicolon of facebook.com and then semicolon again that is dl.google.com. Okay, did you get it? And after that you're going to you know check the keep alive and online host and then after you're going to generate payload. Okay, once it's generated you can see right there that the payload and you can also check the SSH. Okay, so we're going to go to our notes here that um, this notes is the one that we created the SSH account and if you are having trouble creating your SSH account just let me know in the comment section down below you can see right now that we have uh, the username the password the IP host and the squid proxy the last one is the squid proxy you can also create a squid proxy in squidproxy.org okay so first we're going to copy the IP host and we're going to go to the SSH settings the host will be you know you are going to paste there the host you can see right there and also okay so you just click ok after you pasted the host and after that the port will be 22 you guys will try a 80 port 80 okay for the username you could you're just going to copy and paste and also with the password okay and you can also check the auto connect data compression and for the socks for water that is 25,000 okay and the connection timeout will be zero okay and also check for the sound notification and that no the connections uh, forwarder will be VPN service and uh, DNS forwarder is check enable DNS yep that's the settings right there and after that you're going to oh oh you are going to go back and then you are going to enter the remote server okay that is based upon the squid proxy on your IP host okay the basically you are going to copy that and you're going to use 80 port 80 or 8080 or 31328 okay so we're going to go back to the KPN tunnel and we're going to insert the remote server we're going to paste the IP address right there and the semicolon okay semicolon and then 8080 you can also use 3128 port 80 and uh, for the local port you can see it the in the right corner that is 2323 just leave that at that kind of settings okay and after that you can uh, you know start the KPN tunnel we're going to see there that it is connected I think it's connected yep yep okay so tunnel core is SSH tunneling is connected great now we're going to test if it's cool if it's connected and it's fast of course it's fast I have been tested this kind of settings in this KPN tunnel awesome 
and well if you're having issues just let me know in the comment section down below any problems that you have when you are creating and config in kpn tunnel official okay and don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button down below okay and uh you know if you're new here consider yourself subscribing because i'm doing lots of tutorials like this every mondays wednesdays and fridays and without being said everything is Figure outable, you just need the right broom. Bye bye.